Good evening, YouTube family. Uh, Rob here with Mayhem and Delight. So tonight we have come to uh, Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure again. Uh, uh, little Birdie told me that they have a lot of new uh, Halloween Horror Nights merch. So I'm gonna come check out and see what they have. Uh, I'm probably gonna get dinner. Um, not sure where yet. Universal, kind of notorious for closing down a lot of the uh, restaurants a little early. So it is 7.35 right now. Um, it's incredibly busy, so even in the prime parking lot, it's pretty full, uh, as you can see behind me. I'm almost at the end of it, and uh, there's a lot of people here, so it's also Saturday night, uh, tonight being Saturday, July 24th, so join along with me. Uh, we'll see some of the new merch we can see, and hope to have a little bit of a good time. So... Since we have moved down here, these running walkways, one of my first videos uh, after moving down here was them kind of repairing this and it was all taken apart. And to this day, it's still not running. It's completely put back together, but not running. Has anybody ever experienced this one closest to what used to be temp check? Uh, has anyone ever experienced this one running? If you have, if you have, leave a comment down below. As you can see, it is a very busy night here in City Walk. Uh, a lot of the people are leaving, so we'll see how this crowd goes as the night goes on. So not too bad on getting through, uh, or at least into the park. Uh, security actually was kind of smooth. Uh, it's now 7:47, so you know uh, I forget exactly what time it was, but it couldn't have been more than 10-15 minutes uh, of a walk through. Um, again, a lot of the people are leaving the park because. I believe they close at like 9 or 10 tonight, um, so at least, yeah. Universal Studios closes an hour before, um, I don't know, when my wife's editing this, uh, she can put she can put the hours in uh, closing time. So <clears throat> I'm going to head down here, down Hollywood Boulevard, uh, and head over to um, the store coming out of uh, the Born Stuntacular show, because Last time I saw, that's where they had some of the Halloween Horror Nights preview merchandise. Oh man, here it is. Halloween Horror Nights 2021. Oh, Beetlejuice. This is one of my favorites. I wonder if they have one of these in my size. That's on the sleeve. And this shirt is thirty dollars. That's before um, if you're a pass order, that's before a pass order discount. <clears throat> oh there's another one. Pretty cool. It says Halloween Horror Nights 2021 on the sleeve. Nothing on the back. And this one more than likely is $30. Yes. This one as well is $30. They still have the monsters here on the display. Dracula. That's cool. It looks like it's black right reflective. I don't know if that's... Yeah, that's not Halloween Harness. Well, it is, but... It's been here, I think. Nice tank top. $35. Hmm. Cool shirt, but I wonder what makes that $5 more. This stuff they had here for a little while. Um, I was told that if stuff sells out, to keep checking back um, because they will sometimes restock. You know, like if you wanted a shirt uh, and it sold out pretty quick, which some of these styles have sold out very, very quick, 
um, to check back again a little bit later. And if you're lucky, sometimes they'll just restock stuff. Like this shirt I wanted very bad, but they sold out super quick. And, like I just stated, sometimes they just restock. They have it in my size. I'm getting it. Awesome, that's so exciting. So this shirt is $30. Totally getting it. Ah, oh, that's so exciting. So it's a beautiful night uh, here in Orlando, Florida. Um, Temperature's nice, there's a cool breeze going. So I'm gonna see if I can maybe get a good spot. Well, first I'm gonna get something to eat. Say that, because I'm starving. Uh, I'm gonna maybe get a good spot for the nighttime fireworks show. Um, bring you guys along for that. But I did end up getting the Beetlejuice shirt, and of course I got the uh, Haunting of Hill House, because that one sold out super quick last time and I couldn't get it, but I got it this time. Score one for the good guys. So, um, I'll show you those shirts. I, you kind of saw them back there, but I'll show you those shirts when we get back home. All right, so for dinner, I went to Bumblebee Man Taco. Bumblebee Man, wow, I can't talk. Bumblebee Man Tacos. Um, just standard chicken tacos. Nothing spectacular. They're good um, for theme park food tacos. But, lesson for you visitors to Universal Studios or Islands of Adventure in Orlando, Florida. Like I said, they close dinner places sometimes a little early. Um, so in this case, Bumblebee Man Tacos closes at 8 o'clock. Uh, I was in line at like 7.58 and the guy peeked his head around the corner from the register and said, you're the last one that I'm taking an order for tonight. And asked me to like tell people uh, if they walked up behind me. So I turned away two people. A little awkward. It is what it is. Uh, they should probably have a chain or something that they are able to go across the line. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna eat my dinner uh, and I'm gonna find a good spot for the nighttime fireworks show. And I'm gonna record that so you guys can enjoy that as well. I realized in the my haste of eating dinner that I didn't show you my dinner. Um, so like I said, I got chicken tacos. Um, it's a basic taco, lettuce, cheese, sliced chicken. Um, which is pretty good, and I already ate one, <clears throat> I inhaled it, so there's kind of the remnants of it on a chip, but it does come with chips. Um, this I think was $10.99 or so, and then I got a drink as well, so the total was like $14 and change for everything, and that's including my pass holder discount, so kind of a pricey pair of tacos, but theme park prices, what are you going to do? Alright guys, so we have our spot to the uh, nighttime fireworks show. Um, just for a bit of wayfinding, I know it's a bit of reverse on the camera, but off to my left uh, is the uh, Back to the Future train. <clears throat> off to the right is uh, like the Five and Dime and the Born Suntacular, the Transformers uh, ride is off to my right. So and then back there <clears throat> is like Barty's and Richter's and Fast and Furious ride is actually directly behind me. So. Um, I think it's a pretty good spot. We'll find out. Um, people are starting to gather here. The show starts at 9 o'clock. It is 8.14 right now. So I'll give kind of a crowd report uh, right before the show starts. And I can't, won't be able to put up the whole thing, uh, copyright reasons, but I will put up highlights for you guys. Uh, there are videos out there, a ton of videos out there showing the actual full show in its entirety. We can even link the one from Universal in the description down below uh, so you guys can check it out. So again, here's where I am. Right over there is the arcade, and then right over there is Louis. The big Ghirardelli sign. All the way down. It's actually a pretty cool spot. If you, uh, you need to come and relax. They actually have grass back here, which is neat. You just kind of hang out, relax a little bit. The background music is nice. Uh, over there is Rip Ride Rocket and Transformers. And then that's towards the front of the park no, as Mel's driving. So the 
first thing I wanted to point out is the sunset. Florida has some of the most beautiful sunsets I've ever seen. Uh, second only to like California, like coast sunset, which I got to experience once. But next thing also is if you look right there, my blurry finger, uh, that is the Hogwarts Express track. So we continue looking there for a little while. <clears throat> Eventually, you will see the train go. There it goes. minutes to go. As you can see, it is getting quite busy. Um, all along, there's two rows or two more levels down below me. I'm on a third level up from the splash, or out of the splash zone, I guess. Um, it's filling up pretty quickly. Uh, they're going to do, they're starting the show a little bit early because they're doing a, like, tribute to the Olympics. Uh, obviously, Universal uh, hosts the Olympics, um, which this year, 2021 would be a little bit different um, but anyway so yeah they're gonna do uh, a, a tribute to the Olympics so I'll get some of those shots as well and then that's gonna lead right into uh, the uh, nighttime spectacular show uh, here on the waterfront through and turned all the lights off. It's kind of cool seeing in the park this dark at nighttime with everything off, just a little bit of twilight in the background. Studios Florida will proudly present an exclusive celebration of the Olympics immediately followed by our nighttime spectacular Universal Orlando Cinematic Celebration. Please be advised that the lights surrounding the Universal Studios Lagoon will soon be lowered so that you may fully experience our celebration. During our show, guests standing in or near the front of the viewing area may get wet. And now, Universal Orlando proudly presents a special celebration of the Olympics. We thank you for joining us for this special preview of the Tokyo Summer Olympics on NBC from July 23rd till August 8th. With thrills, adventures, and memories spent with friends and family. And now, as our day comes to an end, we gather to relive these incredible moments in our cinematic celebration.
I feel bad for the poor small who's gonna have to follow that. Everybody. What? We are the poor smalls? Oh, small until I can come up with something better. Hey. Ba ba ba.
So, just finished the cinematic celebration. Uh, it's an awesome show. Uh, if you're into movies like I am, um, just ask my wife, she knows I love them. Anyway, uh, so if you're into movies like I am, it's definitely something to experience. I didn't. Um, I don't know, I got chills multiple times. It's a, I'm like, not a movie buff, I just like watching movies. Uh, it's something I just enjoy doing, but there's a lot of cool pieces to that. Um, and then just, you know, having the, the sound system and some of the soundtracks from the movies. Uh, unfortunately, to avoid, again, copyright, we're probably going to have to cut it up a little bit or insert our own music so you guys can experience the, at least the show. Um, but if you're in uh, Orlando uh, or you're visiting Disney uh, or Universal, I would encourage you to come check it out. Uh, it is a truly phenomenal show. Um, here we are kind of filing out of the park. It's super busy night, obviously, and then because I waited for that show like everybody else, it's even more busy. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's something to experience, uh, just the lights and the fireworks and everything. So I'm sure the camera captured, you know, 85% of it. Uh, there's, there's a lot, though, uh, to get there. Um, but again, I would encourage you guys, you know, if you're ever in the Orlando area, uh, visiting any of the parks, definitely come by check the show out. Uh, it is something to experience for sure.